Hi, I'm Heather Bremer with Shiloh Central Church. I am a pastoral counselor on staff, and I just wanted to share with you what I've been learning recently. So I have three boys that are amazing and very busy, full of energy. And lately I've realized that I'm becoming increasingly more frustrated with my relationship with my kids, especially my oldest. He's 10 and he's showing some preteen symptoms. So I had been feeling a lot of just disrespect within the household and dishonor, and I was having a hard time getting on top of it. And I was just becoming angrier. So something had to change. I had been reading this book called Boundaries by Drs. Cloud and Townsend, and it was helping me realize where I've not set boundaries with my kids and where my boundaries were not clear, and also where I've not held myself accountable to the boundaries that I had set. So I had heard a few people say that at the point at which you're frustrated or angry, you've already let some things slide. So after some time with the Lord and hearing His heart for me and for my kids and for our values, I also spoke with some trusted friends that have successfully raised teenage boys and how they handled them. And I felt like I had some clarity. So I had a long talk with my oldest son. We were both crying and just trying to get to the root of things. And honestly, it didn't go that well. So I just kept praying. I was like, Lord, I need some clear direction how to connect with the heart of my kids and how to continue to pursue your heart for our family. And I felt like he led me to talk to another friend. And then we my husband and I got to have some good one-on-one -on -one time together because he's been busy lately, so we've had a hard time connecting uh, at home with um, with our brains still turned on. So after some good time with him, we prayed together. Uh, the next day, my husband went and had a good talk with my son. They were passionate together, and they both were angry, but they both got to the root of some things and what— we value in our house and what we're not going to allow in our house. And, and even my son was able to say that he didn't enjoy how things have been going lately. So he was able to come to me afterwards and apologize and make eye contact. And it was really good. I was, just, I was celebrating. I was like, thank you, Jesus. So what happened? I connected with the Lord. I leaned into my tribe and I trusted my husband. So is everything fixed? No. Now we are persevering to both produce uh, my kid's character and my character. But we have hope now, like Romans 5, 3 through 5 says. My kids have been the, my strongest point of iron sharpening iron. They are helping to continuously build my character on a daily basis. And it's hard, but I'm so thankful for them. So as a family, we are having an ongoing conversation about what we value for our family. We, we value fun and we value peace and respect. And my kids are starting to recognize what that means. So what we're doing is we're establishing boundaries around all of us to protect those bound or protect those values. And the biggest thing that my husband and I both realize is we have to make our boundaries clear. We can't just tell our kids, hey, I need you to show respect. We have to actually let them know like, hey, this is what we believe respect looks like, and we, we're going to show this to you, and we expect you to show it to us. So boundaries are not self-centered. They're loving. Galatians 5.13 tells us, You, my brothers and sisters, are called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. So anytime we're not loving others, we're not taking responsibility for ourselves, and we've disowned our heart. So we are to love one another, not be one another. Boundaries help us to steward what we can control, which is ourselves, and that way we get to keep our love on with the people that we are responsible to, not for. So I'm praying for everyone listening to this today and that God will continue to reveal his invitation to you to keep your love on this week. Thank you.